isn't came and told him they want to do soccer but there are parents whose kids whose kids wanted to be part of a team a soccer team but the parents for lack of a better word i want to say they never made time and uh, for us uh, because some of us our parents did not feel like sports were important enough or so that's why they don't even have interest in sports so and as a parent if you are sports of us don't have any interest in sports it's so hard to uh, develop that in your child because you know many of us you were just told like why are you wasting time <laughs> Hey, this is Washeke calling from San Antonio, Texas. Washeke from San Antonio, Texas. Karibu sana. Mbono li, mbono li hepa mare ya kwanza. Uli feel shy. Uli let, feel shy. Yeah, let, you were here mare ya faster then uka hepa. Let your ears enjoy. Tumabi, sauti yangu itipotea. I have a cold. So sauti itipotea kidogo. Ah, don't worry. Konye, so, uh, konye is a doctor. He will doctorize your cold. Uh, uh, ah, Washeke. Uh, so you are making me. I have a question. Sure. So, um, I mean, from what Konya has said and from what we have seen, uh, you know, the, the rugby team thrives on the support he gets from the fans, and especially when they go to play at away matches abroad. Um, it's us diaspora fans who are able and can afford to go and cheer them. Most Kenyans are not able to, you know, go to Vegas or, you know, traverse the world to go cheer them. So my question is, you know, what are we doing us as, you know, most of us are parents who are getting in age. We're not going to be able to be traversing the world in the next 20 years. Uh, what are we doing to develop the next uh, generation of funds uh, to ensure that, you know, we continue supporting our team? Because without us, without uh, the support, you know, they, 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 they face, they're facing so much challenges. Uh, you know, funding issues, politics issues, when it comes to our own government. So, what are we doing to, um, or what can we do to uh, uh, to have, you know, like our kids uh, be excited to go and uh, watch a rugby game and cheer for the Kenyan team, wherever it may be? All right, uh, that's another tough question from Osheke Konye. So, uh, Rasheke, hey, Sauti Nyororo, as you were told, <laughs> thank you very much for a good question. So, you are very correct. Uh, again, there is always a divide, uh, even with the younger generation. Uh, they, if I find some young kids who are in their late 19, like the early, the early 20s, that never played rugby before, I have to explain them the rules and stuff like that. But I think uh, what is important um, is introduction early. Uh, like for example what I did like uh, when I'm going on my safaris I, I take the kids to Kenya sometimes and then there's a Kenya game it's Kenyan, a Kenya game going on I take them and the kids get to see how, what happens in the game like my son now my son is 18 born raised in the US and he's never gone, played any rugby but he knows a lot about rugby and he always wants he has always asking when the next tournament is so bringing the kids out of the tournament and the kids can see you enjoying it uh, or even watching it on TV and they can see your passion about it, that goes a long ways unspokenly. Uh, and eventually they'll start asking you those questions. They're like, okay, when are we, when, how come can we cannot go to this tournament? Are you available to go? The tournament is coming closer to our city. Can we go to this tournament? That helps a lot. And the kids get to identify with the, with the, with the players and the, you know, and the, and the, and the flag. You know, I was, I was, uh, let me let me add on to that. I think also, um, there needs to be there needs to be a program. And funny enough, we were talking off air with Akina with Akina Hila and Akina Wesonga mm -hmm. and Akina Misha. And and I, I you know I I, I quit it to I quit it to how the Pee Wee football over here. Mm -hmm. Kids start playing Pee Wee football. Well, used at to start playing at age. very at six seven. Yeah. Yeah. So there has to be a way that rugby itself, even if it just touch rugby, I'm a flag rugby, whatever you want to call it, 
is introduced is introduced at an early age or it's sort of made like like part of a uh, sports curricula in all schools because we are a rugby nation i mean whether we like it or not that's well we're not so you're talking, talking about Kenya. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Kenya. Okay, okay. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Yeah. Like you know, like soccer, you don't have everywhere. No, it doesn't I, matter. I, in Kenya, in Kenya, with development, like you know, manini, that is something that is actually happening. Like it's it 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 is there. Like from my young age, like rugby has penetrated in schools and places. That's that what I'm saying because so it's 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 there. But then I get what Washeke's question is saying. You know, the thing is this. Uh, Developing the sport, getting a new crop of people or players coming in is totally different than developing a fan base for the sport, right? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Two different things. Uh, sports are tribal, mm-hmm. right? A sport supposed to be a tribal thing. Like this is supposed to be a tribe. You see the way in London, like Arsenal, there's a certain region like it's tribal. Like you see, yeah. Manu, it's ri- that's the thing. So for thi- for you, and this goes out for us parents especially. The only thing that most kids know, and when you f- build a true fan for a kid from a team, is when you introduce them to that team you're supporting and introduce them to that fan who of you, they will learn from you. Kids copy what their parents do. Absolutely. And that is the easiest and the fastest way to grow fanhood, right? The ge- all these other generic ways of is is it a like you know, you can say okay, um, twenty Vegas. Arizona and Vegas, nini, nini, kupati ya nini, right? But then, if they see you as Konya said, they watch you on TV. They build that interest. They see the excitement of how you're doing it. They see how you're growing with it, and they will want to get more. To it. They will want to be, because they exp- if, if, if if you just make it something that's memorable, Mimi watch ball na the D, right? Mm-hmm. How did your daughter get to watch Arsenal? Yeah, because how because, watching because, you because, watch Arsenal, mm, right? Right. And how you're behaving that. Like, e- even me, I never knew that my daughter had an interest in soccer. Like, Gen Z, unajuki, unikona Gen Z, panyumba mwona meboka. But guess what? I'm not realizing who them time a game ya manu, na mpata meaka game, na jione ya mwenye. Like, she's become a fan ya mwenye juu, hile time ya, hile bond, like, mkiona vitu. So, that is how, if, if, for what we can do as people who, yes, we can't travel, we can't do nini, is introduce them early from the an sport. age like make it make it something that it's a dna of something they pull up from you that is one and aspect. then you take them out from you, you then when you travel and then you, you take them trust me the moment you'll take them to their first tournament i experience heavy there is no way that kid will never want to experience to continue experiencing that you know yeah. what? I mean, I'm in agreement with Mika, but I'm yeah. saying what I, what, I'm, what I was also saying is, in addition to that, yeah, you know, there's a way, not if because there's some parents who are sports of us, simple, yeah, that is it, yeah, that's it. So you sort of have to find a way, maybe, maybe to try to tafuta like whatever, like hey, what is that? But I think sometimes the best way is to have, to have, let's say for example, education like when they go to school, there's this thing. It's called rugby. It's called flag. Uh, flag flag rugby if you want to call it flag rugby touch rugby whatever it is because now that way also now you start generating mm-hmm. a curiosity from some kids who whose parents or even people that they hang around with they don't know about it yeah but i think washeke is talking about you know parents who are raising no, kids in the yeah. diaspora yeah where and we the, don't where we don't have a rugby culture but here's the thing even those ones sazingine mambo yeah. nini ni double 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 shift. Double shift. Yeah. So um, that's what I'm saying. Like, l- l- there's a double shift. So, and I, like now, for example, when I was when 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 I was involved with my with my niece and my nephew, it's because now Baba Hanya, for example, the kids and came and told him they want to do soccer. But there are parents whose kids, whose kids wanted to be part of a team, a soccer team, but the parents, for lack of a better word, I want to say they never made time. Yeah, I mean, no, but again, has to be no, that, that but let's go back so, so to Washeke. Let's no. go back to Washeke to make sure that we are also addressing a question. Washeke, you know, his responses. Has your question been answered, or uh, uh, are we moving back and forth without fully uh, answering what you are asking, Washeke? I, I think Mika did try to answer my question, uh, but I think also it's a challenge uh, for us. Uh, because some of us, our parents, did not feel like sports were 
important enough or so that's why they don't even have interest in sports so and as a parent if you are sports averse don't have any interest in sports it's so hard to uh, develop that in your child because you know many of us we were just told like why are you wasting time running or uh, playing <laughs> soccer when you could be studying they want you to become a doctor <laughs> a lawyer or an accountant. So that is awesome. that Konya is doing the same. Yeah. Konya was a doctor now and uh, yeah. and, and, is, and is running yeah, around watching can, rugby. But yeah, yeah, but you can be well. You, we can raise well-rounded kids. It doesn't have 100. to be just they're good in academics. They yes. can be good in academics. They can play, you know, volleyball. I, mean, I wanted. I have a nine-year-old, and I've been wanting her to play basketball because she's very tall. But she told me no. She wants to play. She used to play soccer and then she uh, she was in gymnastics for a while now she wants to play volleyball she's very Peleka, know, yeah, yeah. really wants she's just Peleka, yeah, yeah. Peleka, so, yeah, yeah. What's so okay? I, I think we have to we uh, one mic Peleka, yeah, yeah. My chain of thought. oh sorry yeah. sorry sorry okay. give her time give her time what's okay. volleyball um so I you so I think we have to you know, change our mindset from how we were raised. Like we can raise a well-rounded and accomplished person academically, but someone also that can be accomplished in sports. And sports is just as important as academics because I think that's one of the reasons a lot of us are not even interested uh, in supporting any of our Kenyan teams. We don't see the value. And the reason uh, athletics, you know, like runners, long distance marathon runners have been successful because that's an individual sport and they get you, you, the, the, the world they see the value in it and they get managers and foreign sponsorship and they are able to but teams are teams because we need uh, Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Uh, hey what is Alexa telling you Alexa, I'm a, I'm a uh, Alexa, Alexa is feeling lonely <laughs> Alexa tell, is reminding me to take my vitamins <laughs> um, so, <laughs> back to what I was saying, uh, you know, we, we have to change our mindset and, uh, you know, be to raise well-rounded kids that are involved in different things because, like, when someone has uh, an interest, uh, they make they it makes them a better, you know, human being and a better civilian. Where Alexa, <laughs> Alexa is not <laughs> taking no for an answer. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Sheke. Uh, so where was I? So yeah, so, so that's what I was saying. Uh, and also, like uh, what Mike was saying, uh, uh, if sometimes many of us, you know, we really concentrate so much on, you know, the doubles making the money. And we're not, you know, building other, you know, capacities within our families. We have to start thinking differently. Okay, Asante Sana Washeke, we have to start thinking differently.